Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates, and today, let's get right into it. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you how to start your luxury fashion collection. Because we all know that luxury fashion, the prices have increased so much, but even before they increased, they were still a lot of money. So how do you go from absolutely nothing to all of this? So I will be telling you how to start your luxury fashion collection by starting small, and before you know it, you'll have all of this. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So the number one thing you have to start with is you have to know yourself. You have to know what you like, what you want, and what you will actually wear. And then decide from there what is the cheapest item that you can afford. So say you want a pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses are usually like $400. Sometimes they go on sale for $200 at places like Sunglass Hut. And a great example is I do have an entire video of how to shop luxury fashion. And it's a really, really great video, so check it out. Because you can get a Belmont t-shirt, say for $500, you can get it on sale for $120, which is really, really reasonable and probably in everybody's budget. So $120 compared to $500, definitely a steal. And in the video, I will show you how to get sunglasses, jewelry, literally everything you can imagine. Even a $10,000 dress for only $2,000 with a site like the Outnet. So again, check out that video because you will save so much money. And again, you have to start with the cheapest items. With that said, let's continue with the sunglasses. So the sunglasses, yes, sunglass huts, they are usually like $250, sometimes maybe even less. But if you go on sites like the ones that I've showed you in that video, you might even be able to find them for $80, $100, and there's so many great things. So if you love sunglasses, that is a really, really great place to start. However, say you're not a sunglass person and you want some jewelry. Start with the luxury fashion jewelry. Luxury fashion jewelry, the costume jewelry, for example, this necklace is only $150. Now it does retail to $250, but when people see this and I say it's Versace, they immediately automatically think, oh, you probably spent like $1,000 on it, maybe even $10,000 on it. But really, the joke's on them because I only spent $150 on it. So a lot of people, they want to say, oh, they want real diamonds, but start looking at Stravosky crystals because no matter where you shop at, Chanel, Gucci, Dior, Versace, Prada, all of the costume jewelry does have genuine Stravosky crystals, which shine so greatly and so bright. Everybody usually does mistake them for diamonds, but really it's just crystals. So you still get the look for a lot less. Another great thing to start with is the basics. So say underwear. Underwear is only $150 for a two-pack from Versace, but you can get a pack for $70. Now, you might be saying, why on earth would you spend $70 on underwear? Because it's for you. If you want luxury, if you want to feel special and say, oh, I own Versace, but you can't afford a t-shirt for $120, 500 or anything of that sort, start with the underwear because it's super cheap. Start with a nice underwear and socks and then you have a cute set. So let's say you bought one of each item that I've already talked about in this video. You bought a pair of sunglasses for $150, you bought underwear for $50, socks for $50, and then you bought costume jewelry. Say you spent maybe $300 on a necklace and a ring. That right there, you spent maybe like $800 which would be the normal price of what somebody would think of for one item alone. But for that one priced item, you got sunglasses, necklace, underwear, socks, you got a lot of things for your buck. So that right there is a great starting piece. Start small and then grow big, because right there, you already have nearly an entire outfit. Now we need shoes to go with it. Shoes are kind of hard to find going on sale. However, sites like Nordstrom Rack you can get a pair of real Italian leather. It might not be a super high brand name, but the quality is still there. For example, I have a pair of Bugatti shoes. They retail for $800, Italian leather, $800. But I got it for $80. That's right, it's literally like 90% off at Nordstrom Rack. You get the real material, the real quality, but for a very, very less price. So now the only thing we're missing is the t-shirt. We have the sunglasses, shoes, jewelry, but we need a t-shirt to match it. So start looking at those sites that I told you in that sale video, because you can get Belmont shirts for $120. So if you get that shirt, bam, 
now all of a sudden you have an actual head-to-toe designer outfit. And the best thing about that is the Belmont shirt, the sunglasses, and everything you bought, you would have spent like $1,500 to $2,000 on it, but with all of the sites that you've saved money with, you've only spent like $400, $500. That is a great, great thing because that actually puts the luxury fashion into your mind that yes, you can afford it. Because when you see a shirt that costs $500, you automatically go, okay, I will never be able to get that. But if you start to remember the sales, then you can actually start to convince yourself that yes, you can. Is $120 a lot for a t-shirt? Yes, absolutely it is. However, compared to $500, $800, $1,000, it's actually pretty much like free at that point. So start thinking like that and you will really, really grow your closet collection. Now, say you don't want the clothing, you don't care about all that stuff, you only want handbags. I'm gonna be telling you how I started to collect my handbag collection and again, I started very, very small. I said, what bag can I afford that is luxury fashion? And the only bag I was able to afford was that little guy in the corner that you can't even see. Here I have my super cute Burberry teddy bear. And this actually came with children's clothing. So I got the bear for free and then I gave the clothing to whoever had a baby. However, I did get this bag. This was sold separately, of course, but I do keep it on him. And this is my Shaq Moose Lil Chiquito bag in the size Le Petite because this is the smallest size ever. So this bag actually cost $250 for this little tiny thing. Yes, I do have an entire video on it and what fits inside of the bag, which is really interesting. Check it out. And it is so cute. So, you know, you go ahead, open it up. Nothing fits in it, but you can keep like Tic Tacs and... Ironically, you can keep a couple of things in here, so it's so crazy. But this little shack moose bag made out of real genuine calfskin leather was my very first luxury handbag. And yes, it's so small, but I was so happy that I bought this and I was so proud of it as well. And that's all that really matters and that's all it really takes. Start small, you'll be happy, and before you know it, you'll just like skyrocket. So since I had this one, I was like, okay, now, I want another bag, but I want this in the bigger version. Can I afford the bigger version? After a month of saving, I got the bigger version. So this one was 250, the bigger version was 500 at the time, and this is the original Shaq Moose Lel Chiquito. This does not have like the bigger sizes involved. This is like the original like baby tiny size. Now this bag comes in so many different sizes and you can get confused by naming all of them. But this is real calfskin leather, so soft, so, so great. As you can see for the size comparison, there is a huge, huge comparison in it. The bag just fits in the little handle up here. But when you go ahead and open this one, when it comes to this one, you do fit a lot more. Again, I have a video of what fits inside. But for this bag, I do keep all my fortune cookies in it. So anytime I get a good fortune from like a fortune cookie and I really like it, I want to keep it. I never say them out loud, but I put them in here and I feel like they all gather together and it just gives good energy and they all really do come true. So this, I keep all of my cute little like horoscopes and fortune cookies in and I keep this for decoration. Do I use this bag anymore at this point? Absolutely not. I really, really don't use this bag. However, for my collection, I really wanted them. So when I started building my collection, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get like a $3,000 Prada tote that I've always wanted. So I was like, okay, let's start with a cute collection that I could put on shelves and can eventually grow. So these cute little things, I was like, okay, great. I'm gonna start with these ones and I'm really happy I did. Now let's see what we've obtained so far. We have the sunglasses, the boxers, the socks, the jewelry. We now have a t-shirt and we now have a bag right there, oh, and the shoes. So you have an entire outfit that probably costs like two, $3,000 at this point. You only got it for what, like $500, $1,000. That is amazing, amazing news for absolutely anyone. But now let's say you got like your small bag, but you really, really want a bag that like actually really means something to you. Like you want like a Chanel, you want a Prada. Well, start with, again, what can you afford and what will you actually use? Back when I first got this bag, this was my first like real luxury fashion brand brand bag. And of course, yes, I have a lot of videos where I describe other ones from before this, but the Prada one, it was the first one that I bought with like my real own money. So this is like what I consider my first real genuine luxury handbag. I got this at the Prada store in Seattle 
and uh, the Seattle store, that was a whole crazy moment. And I might do a story time on that one as well. However, this one, I loved it so much. So I bought this for $1,100 after tax. This was $1,200 and that is a lot of money. But again, comparing this to like a $3,000 Chanel or a $4,000 or $6,000 Chanel bag, this was affordable to me. This was like free compared to those ones when you compare the prices. So start with that. Get a bag that you really like, a brand that you love, but get a small one that you actually will use. This bag, I thought this was the most perfect fit for me because uh, it was just so cool and it was such like a Bella Hadid moment as well. You put it over your shoulder and it is just such a great, great moment. So this bag, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. This is my first genuine one. But now this does cost $1,400. So realistically, this wouldn't be like a good cheap bag that you can't get. But if you do want a real genuine leather bag from Prada, I would recommend the Prada totes right here. I have this Prada one right here, and this was only $720 after tax when I first bought it. Now it does retail for like $850, so the price did go up maybe like $300. But this bag is technically still under $1,000 online from Prada. So if you're looking for a cheap bag, but you love Prada and you love these styles, go ahead and get this one because it is a great bag and it's cheap. You don't have to get your first bag and put yourself in debt for it. Get one that you like, that you love, and even get a small one if you have to. And when it comes to the handbags, a lot of the bags actually do go on sale as well. There are certain brands that will not go on sale. So Louis Vuitton, Prada, Chanel, they will not go on sale. Do not expect to get those at a discounted price. However, Chanel does have a private sale, but I think you have to spend like 20 grand a year just to be invited to their VIP private sales. So just consider the Chanel sales like out of your league, out of your territory. If you do go to the Chanel sales, congratulations for you. I think the entire world is jealous of that fact. But again, some bags do go on sale, especially Versace bags. So Versace, they usually always go on sale, especially if they're colorful. So anything like this, the gold virtues bag, this will not be on sale because this is a classic ride or die handbag. Same with right here, the Fendace and the classic La Medusa right here in black and gold. These ones will not go on sale, but anything colorful will. So the pink La Medusa hobo bag, that would go on sale. That was $1,400. I only paid $700 for it. And then this one right here, the mixed print hobo bag, that one, again, $1,400. I only spent like $600 on it when it was on sale. So it was such a great price. So again, find the brands you love, stick to those brands, and always search for sales. And before you know it, you could end up with a, well, I won't say how much I have obtained at this point, but you can end up with a stupid amount for your luxury closet collection. Now, the last subject that I do want to talk about in this video is home decor. Say you love luxury, but you just don't know about like the brands and everything. Well, try the home decor department because again, something right here, I have this beautiful Versace snow globe. On sale, this is only like $60 when usually it is like $300 if I'm not mistaken. So something like this is great. Start asking it for Christmas. If your parents can't afford like a $500 shirt, send them the one that's on sale for $120 or send them the pillow that's on sale for $60 or something. So always find what you can afford and just send it. And then before you know it, you know, you'll be shaking your own little Medusa snow globe and wishing for the biggest collection in the world and then you'll open your eyes and you'll have it. What a lot of people don't know is you actually don't have to have like a brand name to have luxury. For example, this sweater is one of my favorite cashmere sweaters. This one was maybe like 250, maybe even like $400 from Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, but this is from the brand Theory. And I did get this on sale for only $150, real genuine cashmere. But again, always, always look for sales because even the things that don't have a big brand name are still amazing, amazing quality. So that is one thing definitely with me. I used to shop everything with like a brand name. Now I'm actually shopping a lot more simple, just good, good quality is all I'm after for. I love cashmere, I love silk, and I love, love, love the good cottons of everything like that. So it's actually another thing that you can start looking into. Start looking at Saks Fifth Avenue brands and Neiman Marcus brands and shopping real genuine cashmere on sale 
for a very, very great price. And people will always look at your sweaters and be like, wow, where did you get that? And they will know because it's not like a, a basic store, like Forever 21, Rue 21, or wherever, you know, like people shop. And you'll be like, oh, thanks, it's from Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue. And then immediately in their head, they'll think it's an outrageous price, but you'll know that it was 500, but you only paid 120. I really, really hope that you did take something from this video because I remember being like 14, 15, I had no money and even the thought of like a thousand dollar bag was just like mind blowing to me. However, if you just hang in there, start small and stay true to yourself, that is really all that matters. It took me maybe like 10 years to grow the collection that I did have today. I remember starting off, I only had like those two little bags and just like a couple hundred dollar t-shirts that I got on sale and it was everything to me. But then, you know, you just eventually grow and you start making more money or you start investing your money in other places and then bam, you'll have all of this. So thanks again so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Just remember, stay humble, start small, and all your dreams will come true in the end. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you have any tips or tricks for everybody to shop luxury fashion at a more affordable price, definitely comment it down below and have a great day. Au revoir.